Well, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce has teamed up with Hollywood's biggest producers and movie moguls for the annual State of the Entertainment Industry event. As Anna Marco shows us, there's a lot to cheer about. Welcome to Hollywood, you have arrived. Yes, you see the movie marquees, the celebrity tour buses with their gawking tourists, the stars on the Walk of Fame, and there's no doubt you're in Tinseltown. And this movie capital of the world plans to stay that way, even after a few hard years due to runaway production. California's AB 1839, a law passed in 2015 that provides production tax credits, has led more TV and movie productions to come running back. That's one of the big stories at the yearly State of the Entertainment Industry Conference in Hollywood. The stages are running at capacity and there's talk of constructing new stages, which is huge for our economy. Jobs, jobs, jobs. I always say it's all about jobs. And in 2017, there was a 27% increase uh, in locally uh, honored television shows because so many good shows came back. California Senate leader Kevin DeLeon was a lead negotiator for the law. We made it very clear that no one, and I mean no one, is going to outcompete the great state of California. And there's no place on earth that can replace Hollywood as a world's entertainment capital. Hollywood is here to stay. But the movie industry is going through other changes as well. Wonder Woman taught us that, no surprise, a woman can carry a superhero movie. It also taught us that, no surprise, a woman can direct a superhero movie. One big change that's brought about a whole new economy is streaming content or entertainment on demand. As more and more audiences want to pay for what they want to watch, when they want to watch it, and how they want to watch it, often on their mobile device. This, of course, is very big right now, of course, with the rise of the Netflix and Hulus in the world that are uh, challenging traditional uh, historic uh, ways that viewers have uh, viewed content. One panel discussion noted the growing options for tailoring specific shows to specific viewers. Something that you may want to watch at 6 a.m. might be related to exercise, and you might want something shown differently to you in terms of the set of choices at 6 a.m. than you might want at 7 p.m. on a Thursday evening. It's an optimistic message one organizers want to share with the public, that a thriving entertainment industry helps not just film and TV productions, but all of us Angelinos and Californians as well. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. The executive producer of Modern Family, Steve Levitin, received a Commitment to California award at the event for his efforts to keep his productions in California.